Okay, turning to some business news now. We're heading into the annual baking frenzy with commercial bakers and home cooks breaking out of the holiday recipes and ramping up production. But in Western Canada, it's getting tougher to find the key ingredient in most recipes, and that is sugar. A strike at one plant in Vancouver is the reason why. Jeannie Lee is here with more. Hey, Jeannie, so just one plant, but it must be an important one. It is. It's the 133-year-old uh, landmark that sits on the water at the Port of Vancouver, uh, the Rogers plant built in 1890. And, um, you know, it normally produces something like 240,000 tons of sugar every year uh, from raw cane sugar that's imported from uh, outside of Canada. So when this plant stops working for seven weeks and counting, you can bet there will be an impact. So um, this started at the end of September and we're already seeing uh, some reports of uh, shortages on shelves in Western Canada. And of course, we are entering uh, right now the most sugary season of the year uh, with even more uh, sugar being demanded by, as you say, commercial bakers and everyone who just wants to make Christmas cookies. And so if you take a look at this map that I've prepared, you'll see even uh, more the importance of this one particular plant. It shows uh, three of the uh, refineries in Canada which basically process almost all of the raw cane sugar that comes into this country. These three plants, the one in Vancouver, the one in Toronto, the Red Path Sugar Plant, uh, also on the waterfront, because these are very old companies that uh, really started um, in terms of the downtown area near the ports, etc. because sugar is such a key ingredient and has been part of the industry of those uh, cities. And of course, it all started in Montreal with the original uh, plant um, in East End Montreal. Now the Atlantic plant. And so you see why um, when one of these plants shuts down, there will be an impact on that particular area. Of course, uh, out in the eastern part of Canada, the other two plants can well serve the market. But uh, yes, in the west, they're definitely feeling it. And I'm wondering, you know, in a lot of these cases where we see job action, there are very similar key points that lead to the walkout. Is, is that the case here too? It is, and that's why we've been calling this the year of the strike. We've seen repeatedly uh, various unions uh, going out because things have come to a critical point in terms of affordability. Where in the past uh, labor uh, unions would have agreed to, you know, just okay uh, types of uh, wage increases. It's no longer the case. Uh, we've been all scared by that shock of, um, you know, inflation that went as high as 8.1% at one point and being caught at that point with wage increases that were, what, 1%, uh, 2% if you were lucky. And so memories uh, definitely uh, will run long uh, because of that shock. And the wage demands are being sort of top uh, and front of center, front of mind in these, um, in these negotiations from all labor unions. And of course, um, especially in Vancouver, the cost there of living there are so high. And so uh, this is one of the main points for that strike.